Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are talking about DOTS for Unity. Now, DOTS stands for the Data Oriented Technology Stack, and this was, at one point in time, the clear future of Unity. And these days, a little bit less clear, but we do have some signs of life in that the entity side of DOTS was just updated. We also have a development roadmap of what we can expect of DOTS going forward. Now, first off, you may have no idea what I'm talking about, and that is fair. A DOTS stands for Data Oriented Technology Stack. It basically is a collection of technologies that we're going to be the future underpinnings of Unity. I honestly think originally this was going to replace game objects, just be the way that Unity did things going forward. In some ways, they were trying to upgrade Unity kind of side by side while still releasing the traditional version of it. It's just that form of development it just didn't work out that well. So the nice thing with DOTS is it allows you to, per to write C-sharp code that performs like C++ code. It also allows you to decouple your data uh, from your game logic, and that allows your data to be much more parallel. And you can use tools like the job system and so on to make your code run faster, uh, scale across multiple platforms, and so on. Ultimately, DOTS was first announced, I believe, in 2018, and at GDC 2019, they released the Mega City example showing the power of dots. And basically, dots is a quite powerful thing. And you can check out that Mega City project from uh, GDC 2019. The problem on that one is it uh, it won't run today. Uh, but Nonetheless, it was a very impressive thing. Now, I said that Dots was composed of a bunch of pieces. The key pieces are actually already uh, available in production, and those are C Sharp Job System and the Burst Compiler. To understand the C Sharp Job System, basically this allows you to use the C++ Job System underneath, and the heart of this is it allows you to, in a high-performant way, have hundreds of parallel threads or thousands of parallel threads all running on C Sharp objects, um, and it scales incredibly well. So you can write safe, fast, and parallelized code. On top of that, we also have the Burst Compiler, which is an LLVM backend. Uh, basically, you take C-sharp jobs and make highly uh, optimized machine code out of it. So that combination is two technologies that are both in place today and production ready. Now, on top of that, there were a number of other aspects to the data-oriented technology stack. The next big one is entities. This is, uh, you could think of it as a replacement for game objects, but they, they kind of really backed that up. So game objects, the good thing about, uh, I, I won't call it the dots failure, but the, dot, the dots troubles is game objects became much more secure for their future. So now we have a lot more tools coming to make it so that you can work with game objects going forward, but ECS is another way of structuring your code. Basically, entities, components, and systems, it's a way of breaking down your, your game objects, like in the game object sense, not as in game object unity sense, into data, and then the thing that operates on those data. Very simplified example of it, but using that, that allows you to parallelize your, your data, structure your data in a way that is scalable, and then these other tools can work on it. Well, this underlying entity system, this would again replace the monolithic game object that we've got these days. And then what you would have is all of these other systems that were built on top of that, that currently are built on top of the game object model, would have to be created as well. So you can see they've also got physics code, net code, uh, DSP graph, which is musical code, and animation tools all being built on top of entities. So until entities is done, these ain't gonna happen. Now the problem here is what you're seeing is preview. Preview means it's closer to reality, but it ain't reality yet. And then we're getting into experimental. And that one is a little scary. And I'm gonna show you what I mean when we get to the roadmap. Because there's been a lot of people that have been waiting for the new animation system that is built on top of dots and entities and the job compiler and the burst compiler and all that going forward. Now you're kind of stuck with Mechanum, and you're probably stuck with it for quite a while. So we got a bit of an update on the status of Dots. Uh, this came out last Friday. I was actually going to wait. Well, I did wait. I waited until uh, Unity's uh, announcement yesterday. I don't know why GDC is so um, sealed this year, uh, but nothing really came out of it that really changed the story. So that's why I'm publishing this today. But this was live. This post was made um, on uh, Friday, uh, the last Friday. Um, and basically, they updated the state of DOTS, ECS, the roadmap, and so on. Uh, the big thing we're seeing right now is Entity 0.50 was released. Now, don't confuse that with 0.5.0, which was released back in like 2020. Um, this is the version that we were seeing today. It does have breaking changes from the last version, which was 0.17. As I mentioned, they took development of the DOTS stuff private, so you couldn't you know, interact with it, get up-to-date versions anymore. Now you're kind of dependent on the releases like what we were seeing here today to get your updates. If you were working on the last version of Entities, it broke. 
Uh, so, and also a key thing here is it will work with 2020. So Unity 2020 point something points on, there's a specific version listed. We'll get back to that in just a minute when we get into the details of entities itself. With the next version they're going to bring out, they hope to make it compatible with 2020 one long-term support version and then with entities 1.0 and by the way each one of these will have breaking changes just expect that so you're, you're nowhere near a stable api until we get to the 1.0 stage and the 1.0 stage in theory should run on the 2022 tech stream versions so when we get to 1.0 what are you going to expect well the big thing here is again stability uh Hopefully the performance is optimized and it is ready to use in production. Until it hits this 1.0, it is not considered production ready, so you should not use it for your own project. In terms of why entities is a big thing at all and dots in general, the big arguments for it is uh, adaptive game architecture so facilitates writing and using an ECS game code architecture uh, that adapts well to constantly changing gameplay requirements, integrated workflows, so compatibility with game objects. This is one of those things, again, they really started adding porting systems and better tooling to support existing game object code. That's nice to see. Um, so we'll see that there. Uh, you can publish your game to the widest range of devices, optimize memory needs to support better battery consumption. You'll get more towards native code performance. So the overhead of using a C sharp as opposed to, you know, writing C++ yourself goes away. Uh, that's that LLVM compiler and uh, job system in action, making that happen. Uh, data streaming, again, when you break your game up into discrete data bits, it does make it much easier to stream. So if you've got a very large uh, streaming world, that kind of stuff, it should just basically work better at that point. Uh, same thing here, everything in the tools, everything will be able to scale up better so you can have a large scale physics libraries that work on huge data sets and so on. And then the same deal for multiplayer. So those are the big arguments behind Entities. We did get the update with uh, Entities 0.5. Again, this is still marked as experimental. It will work with this version of Unity and this version alone. Now, the thing that I find interesting is they say 2020.3.30. Um, the only version you can download right now, the LTS version is 0.31F. So I hope this is just a mistake. Otherwise, the version that they're requiring is not available in the hub, which is kind of stupid. But I'm imagining the 3.1F version will work just fine. A uh, number of updates to uh, a number of different systems as part of this particular update. So if you want to get into uh, what they changed since the 0.17 release, um, it, it's pretty nitty gritty stuff. So I'm not going to really cover it in this video. But if you want to learn there... Um, some decent updates in 0 0.5. And then we get into a lot of people asking the same questions. Well, okay, well, what about the, the packages that it depends on? Most specifically, the animation package, which is going to be the replacement for Mechanum. Uh, and where are the samples? Where is this? Where is that? And it's all not there right now, uh, just to be aware of. And then when we go into the updated roadmap, this is where it gets a little bit iffier because some of the things that we thought were coming for sure from Dots aren't quite a sure thing as they were. So basically, we're here now. So Entity 0.5 is released, and then they're going to basically upgrade Entities. So we're going to get to 0.51 next. That will be uh, for Unity 2021 support. And then hopefully we get to 1.0 soon. So they're really focusing on getting Entities up and running with 2022 technology, which is a good thing we need to get there because all of the other pieces are dependent on that. Along with that, we've got a number of different improvements. Uh, this is, again, coming in the future, so these are things that they are currently working on. Uh, we got better debugging tools, uh, editors, uh, cap better compatibility with game objects and the tooling to make that possible. Large scale physics, high performance rendering, uh, reliable net code. All right. So these areas are all uh, areas that are currently in development. And this is probably the next big thing we need to look for. Well, this will be the next little mini step in between when it works with 2021. And then we get to hear it will work with 2022. Now we get to the scary part of this release. We're in the plan section, which is good. These are things that are still going to happen. At some point in the future, we are going to get ECS-based animation tools. This, again, now there's been a lot of people waiting for animation improvements, and they say, okay, well, wait for the ECS stuff. So Mechanum is the stuff you use today, but wait for tomorrow. Well, it's more down the road. Uh, ditto for Dot's server, and now where it gets kind of iffy, a lot of things that were kind of in development are now being considered. So if you're waiting for the new dots based audio system, it's now considered under consideration. Ditto for the dot specific runtime, the navigation or the pathfinding. I believe that was pathfinding. Um, but you'll see right here, this development has been paused. That's a little creepy. 
Uh, and then this one, this development has been paused. So ECS audio, did it just get cut? I don't know. And then finally, we have the ECS based visual scripting. Now this one, it kind of makes sense. Again, this development has been paused. They were making a visual programming language specifically for working with the ECS system. So you could, you know, sort of a blueprints like system. Since then they bought Bolt, made Bolt standard and Bolt seems to be the future of scripting. So I wouldn't be surprised that they're trying to just make visual scripting kind of a universal tool as opposed to having multiple. But that again is a little bit scary in the roadmap, runtime, audio, navigation, and visual scripting for ECS have all been paused. Uh, so the only ones that we still have that they're actively still working on are animation and the dot server. So if you are waiting on that audio component, yeah, this is not a great announcement for you. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is the update to dots to uh, entities. The big thing here is entities and some of the uh, codependent libraries uh, were just updated. So uh, there's quite a bit of improvements in that regard, which is definitely uh, a nice thing to see, uh, but it's not, so again, you're seeing here some of the physics stuff, it has been updated, uh, various different dependencies, the job systems, the burst compiler, so on, have all been updated as part of the NT 0.5 release. But a lot of the other pieces, if we go back to the, um, the DOTS technology stack, all these things that were announced, uh, this is getting a little bit, uh, push down the road and some of the things such as this one uh, may just be gone. Uh, and that's definitely uh, a little bit uh, disturbing. Uh, so uh, that is it. The, the nice thing about all this is because of a bit of the stumbles they had, they had to make dots more interoperable with game objects. So you start blending and using some of this stuff with your existing and take advantage of the, the features it, oper uh, it offers you. But this rolled out, there's no other way to put it. It's been a mess and it kind of continues to be a mess. And I'm curious what you think. I, I know a lot of people are just straight out confused about dots and I don't blame them for being confused at this point in time. Uh, and these, this chicken and egg system of all of these various different systems they need to bring online with the dependencies so that this wouldn't work without these two and then this stuff all doesn't work without these three. And they kind of just created a nightmare scenario for themselves. Uh, what do you think? Do you think Dots is ever going to become a thing? Are you using the new entity stuff? Uh, what do you think of using it? Let me know. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.